I'm here today to do a review of the iWow and Fit P1C Power Sports watch. iWow and Fit has branded this particular watch under the Dr. Viva name, so you might see that on Amazon. Um, I tried the first generation of this device, which was the iWow and Fit P1, which uh, you'll see a link to that below in my review. This was a, a, a sporty looking watch. You can read the details of that review, so I'll just go into sort of the compare and contrasting of that model versus this new model, the, the P1C. Again, disclaimers to get them out of the way early. The company sent me this watch uh, for free in exchange for this fair and honest review, and that's what this is. I think the device looks good on the wrist. That's subjective, of course. I like the buttons. They're a silver tone compared to the black watch, which I think is much better looking for all day, uh, everyday wear than the previous version with the yellow buttons. Um, personal preference, but I think this fits more in a professional setting. The display is nice and bright. This is the next to the lowest setting here, and uh, it's still plenty bright. The band itself is a two-tone gray the back of the watch again it's black compared to the previous generation that was yellow and the previous generation uh, had a permanently attached band the p1c has a detachable replaceable band so i like that much better as well i trimmed the end of my band off a little bit just so i didn't have so much of the end of it uh, flopping around there now the navigation of the screen is really quite straightforward you press to turn the display on, press again to turn it off, and you can ver uh, just simply swipe left. It will take your heart rate in real time, and something called the fatigue. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. I'll do that live and explain a little bit more what that is. Okay, so you have those two things. Oops, accidentally hit it. We have a menu where we can get our messages. It syncs through via Bluetooth to your phone so you can get the synopsis of your message. If you scroll all the way down here to settings, you can change the watch face to various different watch faces. Um, and then you have sport mode where you can get in the running, cycling, fast walk, climbing, a number of different activities um, that you can tell it that you're about to engage in so it can more uh, accurately track those. And if you go back into settings and scroll down to something called Smart Track, this is an option where you can turn that on and then the device will automatically try to recognize which of those activities you're engaging. And I have this, uh, I'm turning mine off. You can also choose 24-hour mode uh, if you don't like the 12-hour AM and PM. Put it in do not disturb mode. Uh, you can change the language, the brightness. Again, you can see I'm on the next to the lowest setting here. And if you turn it up, it actually gets quite bright. Certainly bright enough to see in most uh, normal environments. And even all the way down, it's fairly bright. So I like that. If we go back to the various activity so you can do, there's one feature in here under running, where if you scroll down to the bottom of that menu, it will do something called the VO2 max test. Now that's the maximum amount of oxygen you can take in during strenuous exercise. It's, it's a gauge of an athlete's, um, I guess, fitness for competition. You can do your own research on that on your own, um, but this device will make that reading. Now I've not actually uh, done this test myself. It requires uh, a 12 minute run, okay? And it's called the, the Cooper test. So do some more research on that uh, on your own, but it will do the VO2, VO2 max test, which is a pretty cool feature. Now the device does have this thing called fatigue, and what that is, it's a it uses the heart rate variability, and I'm going to do it live here in real time where you press the uh, the button it'll start taking a measurement it takes about 30 to 45 seconds here you're supposed to remain still and not talk but uh, I just want to give you a sense of how long this measurement takes now this thing calculates a fatigue number um, what it's really doing is taking your heart rate variability and then a, uh, doing a calculation based on that now the more recovered or the less stress you're under the 
higher the variability in your heart rates. The higher your stress level, the lower your heart rate variability. It, your body forces your heart into a very regular pattern. So really what you're looking here for is the higher number, which increases a higher heart rate variability. Now, they don't give you the actual heart rate variability number. I think I understand why they do that. I believe if they were going to do that, they'd have to register this as a medical device and go through the FDA, um, and they're not doing that. Okay, and there it comes back with a fatigue index of 79. Um, you know, I have been scoring a little bit higher than that. I didn't get a great night's sleep last night. But this gives me some feedback as to how my body is uh, reacting to my training and my sleep. So again, the higher that number, the better, the more recovered your body is. The lower that number, the more stress your body is under. So if we come into the app, we can go under the fatigue index. And it will give us a value and we can track this over time. And um, you can see mine has been, you know, anywhere from around the 80, 77 to 81, 83 range. Now, if I scroll back in time, this gets into my readings with the previous version, the uh, iWow and Fit P1. Those were always lower, and I didn't like how you had to hold your fingers on that watch. That seemed spotty at best. Uh, this P1C really does a good job at this uh, fatigue index. I like it very much. It's a useful training tool to know when you need to uh, add in some more recovery or, or get some better sleep. It does automatic sleep tracking. And it's also a GPS watch. So you can go in. It takes a few minutes once you press your activity for the device to find the satellite. So... Um, you know, be mindful of that. You're going to you're going to press your activity, uh, give it a couple minutes to find the satellites, but then it'll lock on and you can start. And then um, when you go back into the app, you can take a look at your GPS tracks. This was a hike I did a few days ago, and it will show you the exact route you took. It will give you statistics, how long it took. It'll give you your, your pace, your heart rate. Um, speed, total steps, stride, and it gives you some a number of other statistics here, like your heart rate zones, how long you spend in each zone, various sections, it will give you a pace chart. Very nice tracking ability, and what I really like about the, uh, the, the GPS tracks here is you can really zoom in and um, get a really zoomed in look of where you went, what's around, and, and kind of get an over a bird's eye view uh, or or zoom into the fine details of the exact tracks you took. So I like that a whole lot. Uh, it's a great feature. You can click on this device icon at the bottom, and this gets you into some settings for your watch uh, re related to taking a, a picture, a camera with your phone using the device, weather format, whether you're in centigrade or Fahrenheit, the date format, month, day, or day, month. Palm gesturing, you can set this so when you lift your wrist, it will automatically light up and show you the time. I have that turned off. You can de designate whether you're wearing it on your left wrist or your right wrist. Again, units of measurement, imperial or metric. Um, so some nice options in there. You can set alarms to vibrate to wake you up. Um, very nice interface. It's uh, maybe a little bit slow to sync, but I'll tell you what, compared to some other devices, uh, it's really not significantly longer. Um, so I, I like its syncing capability, like the sleep tracking. I like everything about it, to be honest with you. I've been getting, let's see, I've been wearing it a little more than a week now. I wore it for five days before I uh, put it on the charger, used the GPS a couple times, and the battery was on, still had 40% juice in it before I recharged it. So my bottom line is I really love this watch. Um, it definitely is a watch I don't mind wearing in a professional or business setting. It doesn't look like a running watch or a sports watch. Uh, it's got GPS. It's waterproof. It does indeed count the paddle strokes in a kayak. Uh, so, you know, this might be my new device that takes up residence on my left hand. I like it a lot. In general, packing a lot of features into a watch for under $100 in these watches is becoming kind of standard. So, um, you know, I love the fact that it has GPS, counts your steps, heart rate, fatigue index, and, um, 
It also adds the VO2 max test. Uh, really like this a lot. So for about $79, I think it's a great value. I definitely give it two thumbs up. Again, this is the iWow Unfit P1C, branded as the Dr. Viva P1C. And uh, I really like it. I give it two thumbs up. Really, I think this is going to take up residence on my wrist. Uh, this is probably going to be the watch that I, that I wear all the time. Um, it's a great value for about $79. Hope you enjoyed this review.